Today I'm going to be taking a look at the MiU Mini, another one of these awesome Linux based retro emulation handhelds. It's got a 2.8 inch IPS display, an ARM Cortex A7 CPU. It's got a 1900 milliamp hour battery, which depending on what game you're playing, can give you upwards of 5 hours of playtime. The console comes in this nice carrying case. It also comes with a USB type C cable for charging, a micro SD card adapter, and a basic user manual. Taking a closer look at the MiU itself, you have four face buttons, a directional pad, start and select buttons, and a button in the center that's mainly used for submenus in game. Over on the unit's side, you have a volume rocker. On the bottom is the USB Type-C port, a headphone jack, and the housing for the system's micro SD card. And over on its back, you have four shoulder buttons and the housing for the 1900 milliamp hour battery. Powering on the console, as you can see, the 2.8 inch IPS display is bright, vibrant, and very impressive. The menu is easy to navigate and nicely organized. Clicking on the game tab allows you to sort through all the various consoles that are playable on this machine. If you click on RetroArch, it organizes things by emulator, and clicking on App gives you a few more options and allows you to access the console's Open Beats of Rage emulator. This thing has a ton of games, close to 10,000 to be exact. It's got a ton of mainstay titles ranging from 8-bit all the way up to 32-bit consoles. Its overall design gives the vibes of the old school Game Boy if it was scaled down to about a third of its size. This thing is really small. Here it is next to my old Game Boy Pocket for comparison. It caps out at PlayStation 1, but don't let that deceive you. There's plenty of substance to be had with this machine. And the library of games it has for each console is surprisingly good. You'll find a lot more than just the standard fighting games and platformers. Of course, there's still a lot of good fighting games and platformers on this console. The best way I can describe the directional pad and buttons on this device is they're a bit on the squishy side which isn't a big deal, but thanks to the Nintendo Switch, over the past few years I've begun to favor the more tactile, clicky style of buttons. But I will say, this thing makes for extremely smooth and precise inputs. So although they're not my preferred button style, they're still really, really good. I think we've pretty much gotten to a point where it's an absolute certainty that these consoles are gonna run your 8-bit and 16-bit titles pretty flawlessly. So I didn't spend a lot of time playing those, but the few titles that I did play, it ran it beautifully. I feel like with a lot of these little consoles where they shine the most is with their arcade library. And the MiU is no exception. It's got a ton of different arcade titles from a ton of different genres. And one thing that I really appreciate about the console is that they didn't bloat it with a bunch of games that it's incapable of running. Every game that I played ran well. There are some games that I was even surprised to see on one of these consoles. So the MiU Mini, guys I have to say I'm loving the fact that we're capable of packing so much power into these really small form factors. Like I previously stated, one thing I love about this console is it knows exactly what it's trying to be and doesn't overextend its reach. You know exactly what you're going to get when you get this thing. It's going to run a ton of retro emulation and play lots of badass arcade games from your childhood, all on an extremely gorgeous display. If you guys are interested in the MiU Mini, I'll put links in the description below. Until next time, this is Ness, signing out.